Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. We are here at camp at Clemens Point. Uh, before we go off and do some of the robberies, uh, the Braithwaites and the Greys, uh, we have a couple missions here uh, in camp that I want to take care of. First, we have one from Molly, who I don't think we've ever done a mission for. Uh, she might have been involved in the mission where we take the ladies to Valentine, but I cannot remember. That was a little while ago. My memory, my memory's not that great, but um, right, we also have one from Dutch, but let's go ahead and start with the Molly mission, see what she has for us. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know, but if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> wow. go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? <laughs> Charles, what are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick <laughs> man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. How do you know about this old man? How do you know about this robbery? Come on then, you miserable bastards. Yeah. How do you get wind of this old man? Yeah, exactly. I want to know too. While you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> nope, sorry guys. You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every. Come week. on, Bill. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold Interesting. We should cover our faces. Uh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Oh, nice horse. Christ sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? Well, I'll be damned. Alright, I'm getting my guns out. Sun's out, guns out. Hold up now, yeah? Oh, turning. Stop turning. Come on, horse. We gotta head him off. Horse. Really, horse? I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus oh. Cornwall. Oh, great. Here we go. You know <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. All right, I got you. Thank you. 
Alright, what do we got here, boys? Oh, we got a box in a box. I hope there's another box in this box. Okay, we're looking good. Okay. I'll take it. Shit. Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go, Parker! Let's go! What do you mean, let's go? It's just one wagon, guys. Let's rob that one, too. Oh. Okay. No mind. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Come on, horse. Wow. Come on. We got a ride, guys. Get my gun out one more time. Since they keep putting my guns away for whatever reason. Oh, God. We don't have time to stop turning fire. Jeez. Go, guys. Go. Go. I'm, I don't know what that means, but I'm lighting a shuck. Shucks have been written. Or litten. Litten. Lit. Lit. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Come on, horse. I really need you here, pal. Dig deep. Low down, sons of bitches. Not us. You got the wrong people. You can move fast when you have to. Quick. I'm moving. Get off the trail. I'm the moving. Let's shake and oh, watch that log. Good no, horse. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men at camp. Good horse. Whoa. You are a let's, let's agile go. beast. Quick. In the barn? All right, see you, horse. Good luck. Good luck in life. Stay until dark. You'll probably need it. Get out of here, Charles. You keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. Wait, we're just gonna take a nap? Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Really? As soon as I wake up? Yeah, let's just keep this going. How convenient is that? <laughs> Guys, we are in trouble. Just tell me, partner, what you heard. I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't. You didn't hear nothing. Out by the barn a while ago. Really, dude? Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Really, man, you're gonna rat us out like that? Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Okay, maybe we can just silently take these guys out and not worry about it. That's not going to work, is it? They probably have like a hundred men up over that hill or beyond that house. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Don't look right. Place looks empty to me. I don't know how he doesn't the see me. Is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Where's the other guy? Place is empty. Shit. Oh, are you? What was that? Looks like we're. All you had to do was hold still. We got more of the bastards on this side. On what side? What is this side? <laughs> more 
I need directions. We have four. Oh god, I can't even hit that guy. Oh. What do you mean this way? Directions. Give me some directions. On the left, there we go. Old man, you ain't ever been in a shootout, have you? What the heck? Oh, are you serious? Can I go up? Is there a ladder up? I'm panicking. I'm panicking, guys. Charles, get away from there, dude. Charles. Damn, Bill. Damn, Bill. Come on, Charles, you. You first. Run, guys, run. Cornwall will stop at nothing. We gotta go. Try to lose them. Guys, we gotta fight. I don't wanna be with you. You got us into this mess. This isn't... Gosh, I can't. Oh, God. <laughs> They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You... Get my knife out. You see anything? Not yet. Wait, am I left or right? I forget. You get the left, I'll get the right. I think he said left or right. Okay. Follow the lead. Let's do it. Get him. Good job. Get the hell off me. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. Yes, we should go give him a hand. I didn't even notice things went south for <laughs> That's funny. I had no idea. I'm glad I turned around. How many people am I going to have to kill? Can you guys just leave us alone? Split up, go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. That's ridiculous. Dang, we did get a lot of money from that, though. But dang, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely. That was a lot of people we killed. We've killed a lot of people so far in this game. Um, all right. So we came from like over this way. No, we were hiding out here, ran this way. 
And then across here. Yeah. Okay. That was a little too close too close to home. Oh, we got a Lenny mission. Uh, Lenny needs to speak with you. Uh, Dutch... Dutch asked you to find out more about the bounty hunters that Trelawney mentioned. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go do that one. We'll go, uh, we'll go talk to Dutch. It's been a while. And by a while, I mean literally one episode since we talked to him last. Uh, I'll ride over there real quick. I'll see you guys back in camp. Alright, and here we are back at camp. Uh, we actually have a uh, question mark. Uh, that I haven't seen before. Maybe there's going to be a uh, story told or something? Oh, join conversation. What do we got going on, boys? How's it going, fellas? Been a tough few weeks. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, but I I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm I guess I'm struggling to just find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch, same as Jose. I don't want to die. But if I have to, I will. So, forgive me, all of you. What? Did, are things just getting real? Is that what's happening? Nobody said anything. Uh, I wasn't specifically uh, speaking to you, Micah. I still hate your guts. You're my least favorite person. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, that's right, Dutch. Let's go see what he has to say. Yes. Dutch, Dutch. What's up, buddy? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we <laughs> know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Molly, how are you? We'll finish our conversation later. <laughs> All right, Charles, let's go. We got some work to do. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. That's what I like, no questions asked. Come on, Charles, gonna move on. Any day now, Charles. Not I'm not in any hurry. Alright, okay, you ready? Let's rock. Let's do it. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. That's right. Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good in the new camp, I mean. Yeah, I had a talk with everybody. <laughs> between us and that mess now, 
I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. So I think the uh, the bounty hunters that they're talking about are the like the elite bounty hunters that Trollany was mentioning. Not really too sure what that means, but I guess we're gonna find out. Look at this dump. Someone got here first. Okay, and by dump, I get. Oh no! Don't take the. What did I just eat? <laughs> it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Mm. Let's take a look around. Another rescue mission, I guess. This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Where you going, horse? You see anything there? Uh, no, but I want to, I want to, like, steal everything. <laughs> Big There's a letter. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe, uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look, uh, what is this? Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is to certify that dot 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 is the holder of dot 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 shares. Inclusive in the above company. Subjective, or subject to provisions of the doing? memorandum and articles of association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of said shares. Secretary, dot, 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 dot. Uh, interesting. I guess we'll take that. Wait now, just give me a second here. So he must have been here recently. Let me just keep searching stuff. Okay, we don't need any snake oil. Oh, another clue. There's some blood here. That ain't good. I think Charles has already found him. I just want to see what I can grab. Oh, I'm on the table. <laughs> Agile. All right, I think that's it. Let's hit. Let's hit it. Let's go, girl. What you got, Charles? They went down the path here. All right, let's go, horse. Can I focus on it? How's your tracking these days? Good. All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean. After the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. <laughs> you knew that's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah, I still ain't sure about that. See, he must have crossed over the tracks. Did they? I lost him. There they are, right there. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Arthur, where are you going? Howdy, folk. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. 
He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. Uh oh. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. We got ourselves a good old fashioned slobber knocker. Oh man, this guy knows how to fight. I can't dodge. I've lost all dodging ability. There we go. Woo! Good job, Charles. Let me get my hat. I can't interrogate without my hat. You know that. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Ooh, wrong answer, pal. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. <laughs> Let me see you again, you hear me? <laughs> You got lucky there, my friend. Did I? How did I get lucky? I had that in control the whole time. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Okay. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Alright, Charles. Well, this is the main road. Okay, we're not... Okay. You okay. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'd goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Oh, four. All right, there's the cornfields, I guess. Looks like wheat, maybe. I don't know. I guess it's corn. I don't see a cabin, though. Maybe the did the Braithwaite's kidnap him? That'd be interesting. There's a cabin. Can we go any slower here, Charles? Is that it? That's not the cabin? That must be it. Is he being is he being guarded or is that just where he lives now? After that sack, oh. this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Man, that guy just bolded. <laughs> After a lot of them? I, I think so. So uh, you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Oh, do we actually... Really? Okay. Uh, this is the Braithwaite's property, guys. Gosh darn it. Birds. Got it. There's a guy this way. There's one. 
son of a you Come on, dude. Hey. They're gonna get away. Let's find them. Are we supposed to just I guess we're supposed to just kill him. Where are you? Oh, that's you, Charles. Birds? Oh, uh, there's guy. There he is. All right, we got one more. Somehow there was a third guy. Only two guys popped out of there in the the cutscene, but apparently there's a third one now. Over there, where the birds are. What birds? This way? This is awful. Is he this far? Charles, help me out. <laughs> Charles, help me. I found two. You have done nothing. I don't know. What, what is happening now? Charles? That's a scarecrow. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. F I'm about to fail this mission. Where's my hat? Charles, is he in here? I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He dumped his gear. Oh. Oh no. He's mine. Let me take him. And get out of here. Sorry, wait. What? My friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Oh, Charles. You the man. Come on. You should have taken the money. <laughs> I'm a fool. Good job, Charles. Thank you. Oh, we gotta go. Got are coming from that barn. Come on. Wait a minute. By come on, are we going towards the barn? Alright, I guess we're getting in a gunfight. I'm having some issues here, Charles. He's backing off inside. Get after him. Really? There he is. Take him out. Get back here. God damn you. Come on now. What does he have? Rolling block. Uh, rare rifle. I do. I would like that. You alright? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Wait, what did I just do? Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, guess. Rare? Wait, what makes it rare? Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. So there's like rare versions of each weapon? Does it, is that just like maybe condition or are they legitimately rare? I hope you're right. Either way, that's pretty cool. I feel like Mary and Pippin in the Lord of the Rings. Well, he's still here at least. 
Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never fine. So, who was they? They were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. Cole Stoudemire every time. Looking for me, per no. se. What you tell him? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. <laughs> Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Not a chance. Go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Oh, Arthur, Arthur you just told him. You just told Charles that he would sell us out if he oh, needed. There seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway. I don't really think it's a good idea that we take Trelawney back to camp. Uh, I mean, Arthur himself said that if he's in a pinch, he would sell us out in a heartbeat. So that's probably going to be a mistake in the future. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm going to leave it off here. If you did enjoy the episode, please definitely drop a like uh, and a comment. Uh, and if you would like to see more Red Dead Redemption videos in the future, please consider con subscribing. I put out new gaming videos daily, uh, and I will see you guys on the next episode.